Hi, my name is Officer Ochoa, and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? You can put your hand down and you can take a seat. Can I see your permanent resident card, your passports, and a form of ID? You can just hold them up so that I can see them. Okay, you can put them away now. Now I'm going to ask you a few questions. What is your complete name? What other names have you used in the past? What changes would you like to make to your name? Can you confirm the name as you would like it to be? I'm going to ask you 10 questions. You will need to answer six of them correctly to pass this part of the interview. First question. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. What is the name of the national anthem? What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? Why do some states have more representatives than other states? What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? What are two cabinet level positions? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? How many U.S. Senators are there? Okay, great. Now we are going to do the reading and writing part of the interview. Please pay attention to the tablet in front of you. On the screen, you are going to see a sentence. Please read the sentence out loud. Now on the same tablet, please write the following sentence. President Washington is the father of our country. President Washington is the father of our country. Okay, great. You approved both parts of the interview, the civics questions and the reading and writing part of the interview. ¿Qué tal cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que si te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta, ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? 
Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Are you married? What is your spouse's full legal name? When did you get married? What is the citizenship status of your spouse? Have you ever been divorced? How many times have you been married? Were you ever married back in your country of origin? Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. No to all of them? Can you tell me what genocide means? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. When did you become a permanent resident? How did you become a permanent resident? Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Can you tell me what a crime is? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Can you show me the tickets or citations and proof that you paid them? Okay. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? What is your date of birth?
what is your height and your weight? What are the last four numbers of your social? What is the best contact number for you? Have you ever given any US government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any US government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Can you explain to me what deported means? What do you do for a living? Okay. And how long have you been doing this type of work? What are some of your job responsibilities? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Can you tell me what taxes are? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you called yourself a non-US resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Do you file your taxes jointly or by yourself? And usually, do you have to pay taxes or do you receive a refund? Did you file your taxes this year? Can I see your latest tax documents, please? Okay, you can put them away now. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with the Communist Party, any other totalitarian party, a terrorist organization? Can you tell me what a terrorist organization is? Where do you live? How long have you lived there? Where did you live before?
Can you spell the name of the street? How long did you live at your previous address? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail? Prison camp? Detention facility? Labor camp? Any other place where people were forced to stay? Can you tell me what a prison or jail is? Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? And what is a weapon? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person, or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? How about back in your country of origin? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? How many children do you have? What are their names and their ages? Are you the biological parents of your children? Are your children US citizens? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? Sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs or narcotics? Been married to more than one person at the same time? Married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? Made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? Can you tell me what gambling means? When was the last time you traveled out of the United States? What date did you come back? Where did you travel to? What was the purpose of this trip? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Have you ever served in the US Armed Forces? 
Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? In the last five years, how many total trips have you taken out of the United States? On any of these trips, did you spend more than six months out of the year outside of the United States? What are the requirements to become a U.S. citizen? Okay, great. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? What is the form of government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? And what is an oath of allegiance? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Okay. Give me one moment. Okay. At this time, I'm going to recommend your application as approved. Congratulations. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Citizens Ahora.